Let's start by defining microgravity. The strange environment that astronauts experience in space is often called zero gravity, but that term is technically incorrect. Why? Because even 300 kilometers out in space, gravity still exerts over 90% of the attractive force it has at the Earth's surface. What astronauts experience on a spacecraft orbiting the Earth is microgravity, which is an environment where the pull of gravity seems small compared to what we feel on the ground. Microgravity in Earth orbit is really a result of free fall. Here's what I mean. Imagine yourself in an elevator riding to the top of a tall building. Just before reaching the top, the cable snaps and your car begins falling. As you free fall toward the ground, you, the elevator car, and everything inside are accelerating at the same rate due to the pull of gravity. Everything seems to float. And for a brief period, the effects of gravity seem to disappear. That's exactly what's happening on the space shuttle, all except for the sudden stop. Once the shuttle reaches orbit, it's traveling fast enough to maintain a constant free fall around the Earth. The free fall, in turn, creates some microgravity conditions that make things look like they're floating when really they're falling. We experience short durations of microgravity ourselves each time we ride a roller coaster, jump on a trampoline, or dive off a diving board. Over 200 years ago, William Watts learned that he could make better musket balls by dropping molten lead from a tall tower. Since then, scientists have continued the use of free fall for research with taller, more sophisticated drop towers, research aircraft like NASA's KC-135, and suborbital rockets. But even with these advancements in technology, periods of free fall for research are limited to less than about 10 minutes.